Hello guys, I'm Sadama the Bears and this is a tutorial how to learn programming IC chips. At least how I learned it. This tutorial is for beginners. I'm going now to build a very basic example with old logic chips and then I'm going to do it with IC chip and I will try to explain every single step let's get started so i will build just a switch which will run the light as you can see here i'm using rtg generator as a creative power supply so let's build it we will need a reader writer we will put a memory in the middle i will explain why and then i need another writer so it looks like this this is just example guys so this can be done in many many other ways i'm going now to rename this memory and i will call it register zero just like this I will program the circuit now and we will see if it works so this is our switch I put the cables on the wall so I don't need to do a lot of stuff around so this logic reader input is only this switch and the variable will be settings and it's zero next we will take this writer the input is this logic reader output is our memory or register zero and we will read settings it's zero the memory should be zero as well so now this logic writer will read this memory or our register zero. Output is this wall light. And the variable is going to be on. Let's try it if it works. It works so everything is fine. Of course, this basic circuit doesn't need so many logic chips, it doesn't even need a memory, and I will explain why. Now I will build other circuit, which will do exactly same thing. So I will need a IC housing, IC chip, logic switch, or switch and one light for programming IC chips we will need a computer like this with a motherboard IC editor inside so I will start this Windows 95 machine I will cut one cable to make the programming of the IC chip a little bit easier and now we need to set the screws I do it all the time like left side of the IC chip is input and the right side of the IC chip is output most of the time. So I'm going to set this screw D0 as this switch. So this is this, this one and the output is going to be screw D3 and the output is going to be the wall light just like this piece of cake right now we are going to do some programming so we have an IC housing this one over here it's turned off so edit 
At the beginning of the program, we will use something what is called alias. It is basically a label for a value. So you can label the screws on the IC chip and of course you can la label registers as well. So let's do some aliases to make our program more readable. Alias switch is going to be screw D0 and alias wall light going to be our screw D3 just like this confirm and we can export so now this short program is here when I will start the IC housing we will see the screw D0 has a name switch and D3 has name warlight. So I will turn it off. Let's go back. So now I will rename our register 0. So alias, let's say it will be switch value and it is going to be register r0 so now i can finally explain why i'm using memory here as an example in this small circuit so basically register is some kind of a memory which remembers a value that's why i have this memory over here so let's go back to our computer and let's do something else let's start so the program will start here it has starts now we need to get some values we need to load so i will use l and we need to load something and we would like to load the value from the switch so let's go back the command example is like a load into register some value from somewhere that's our screw and then what do we want to load so this is l load we want to load switch value we are getting switch value on screw d0 here so we will use d0 and we need to know what is the variable so basically i'm using logic reader here to show me the variable so the variable is setting let's go back to our computer l load switch value that's our register zero from the screw d0 that's the switch and the variable is setting so this is our first line confirm export our next line will start with s because we want to save something somewhere and it should be like save where that's our d3 screw that's the wall light then we need the variable and then we need the value so let's do it s save where we will get where here that's our screw d3 so s d3 confirm export and now we need to know the variable for the wall light and we can see it here logic writer 
the output is the warlight and the variable for switch on and switch off the light is on so let's go back save on screw d3 variable is on and we need the value which is our register 0 that's switch value so switch value confirm export but this is not the end yet now we need to do one very important line and that line is yield this command makes this program wait half a second if we want to wait it one second we will do yield and yield and at the end of the program we will insert J like a jump and where we want to jump the program to and we want to jump it here start so start confirm export if I did it right when I will turn on this IC housing and this switch over here this light should be on it's on now it's off so we can turn off the IC housing and we can make the program run a little bit faster so I will delete this line and the program will run a little bit faster and of course I will upload this program to my Steam Workshop. I will upload this program to my Steam Workshop. So the name of the program is going to be SDB, like Sadamo the Bears, IC Class 1. And the name of the program is Light Switch. Confirm and now it is in my steam workshop so you can download it you can take a look and i hope you will learn something guys if you want to upgrade your short program a little bit and if you don't want somebody to play with your light so we can do s save d3 is our screw that's our light we will use variable lock and value 1 which means that light is going to be lock forever so nobody can play with it confirm export I will turn on this IC housing and now we can see the light is locked I can't turn it on manually so if I will flip the switch the light is on but I can't turn it off with my hands so now the light is locked so I'm going to upload this program again to the Steam Workshop and the name is SDB IC Class 1 and the name of the program is Light Switch Override Confirm and that's it if you enjoyed the video, click that like button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.